X was just like so so tight at every point in the game, especially with this new uh, this new character. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's kind of a it's kind of a tale of two different types of metas. You know, I think and these are two different types of metas, or two different types of play styles. Excuse me, going into the match that we see most notably in all fighting games. One character is very long. One character is not as long, but they want to get in. But one once one character's plan starts to work, it becomes so difficult for the other oh, side yeah. just because they're designed so lopsided. So with this in mind. Let's see how it all unfolds right here. The first one to draw blood is Green Falcon. Not surprised. Very warmed up. Has not got up from that seat in quite some time. And that's an adaptation. You see how Green Falcon is not going out there through the edge guard, not trying to stuff out that up special. Instead, just trying to make it back onto the stage to be able to stifle some of these high recovery attempts right. because the Starman X doesn't opt to go to the ledge. He keeps on opting to go above the stage. And now you've successfully conditioned him to go to the ledge. That's right. Conditioning is such a big deal, especially in a matchup like this. You know, I think of a character like Rain, I think, okay, I've conditioned you one way, then right when you think you got the matchup figured out, boom, I switch stances, and now it's time to get my hands dirty. And before you know it, you've been hit with so many projectiles, uh, you don't even realize you've taken so much damage. Okay, nice. Down to, I'm gonna slide right in, they said. Say less, no platform fun for you. Oh, what you doing with it up there, though? Get off of that. Oh, and then tries to up special, tries to recover the ground. Uh, Green Falcon maybe trying to like trip him up a little bit, get that cross up. Did not actually find it. Both of them crossing each other up so, so much. Finally finding that combo starting, but not following up off of it. Uh-oh, and this is where things get scary. You know, if you're going to go for a follow-up on a character like Reyna, especially piloted by somebody as talented as Starman X, the minute you find that opening, you can't think twice. you got to yep. go in and take it because these opportunities are going to come very rare. I mean, they're going to space the hell out of you. But even Ooh. as well as you've been spacing, Green Falcon figures out a way to close out the gap. X marks the spot. Close He's it out now. Let's see He's how got an long. opening. Yeah. He's getting these tech chases. Look at him. He, this is a totally different plan. Yeah, this is definitely just a Green Falcon reborn here, if you will. But let's see how well they hold on to it. But as we know, a lead doesn't last long, especially for a character like Reyna. Not for long, Starman X said. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Oh, just keeping it even, keeping it as competitive as possible. But again, all these down throws that time going to be holding hard into, uh, into the move. Okay. Nice. Nothing off the tech chase option. I like that. You know, you got to make sure you got that on lock for a character like a shiny. Which way we going when you stand up? You want to make all the difference. And that's just a sign that I've gotten a hard knockdown. I found an opening. And then, of course, I'm keeping the pressure going. But get out of that corner! Because if stuff like this happens, back here in the corner, especially in this stand, it's very scary. You have to drop that shield. It's going to break. It's so, so dangerous at this point in time. And you see, trying to get that grab, but a little bit too far back because of all of that pushback at that point in time. Okay. And I like that. Just kind of holding forward out of the corner, too. Understanding, oh. you probably don't want to jump on the other side of me. You do not want to be in the corner. If I have to turn around and apply that pressure, nice. Gets the clash. Okay, backs it up. The movement option is looking dangerous oh. right now. Gets the spark. Immediate, though. Immediate on the burst right here. Now you're burstless, but you do have half meters. So you can still keep the movement options as ambiguous as possible. What a punish out of block. Able to get out there. Is that going to be enough to actually deny this recovery? Tries to go out there with the spike, but then using the slants of the edge of the stage to be able to duck under, to be able to get past that spike. But it is 15 to 10 health. Who is going to take this next off? Yeah, I mean, that's the real question right now. And with the way it's kind of shaking Ooh. out, Green Falcon right now says all good things are green right here. I'm living up to the name, my friend. That down throw is going to get it done. Oh, my. And see, this is the scary part right here at Starman X. I mean, a lot of characters have to jump literally off their feet, you know what I'm saying, to apply that pressure up underneath. Yep. But not Starman X, not Reyna. Less is most definitely more in a matchup like this. Yeah, all you needed is one hit at that point. They were quite literally on last hit. So now, just going to be looking for this next opening. Trying to space out with that upstrike has the right idea. You saw that. That was almost able to catch that jump, but just a little bit too far to the left. Slightly misspaced it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this corner control looking at very, very dangerous. Burns what's left of that meter to get back in, and just when they did that, overstand it a little bit too much. And that's all about the positioning right there from Starman X. Yes, I've applied so much pressure for this platform. I switch stances, I get close, I break that shield, and now boom, you find yourself off stage. Makes it back onto the ledge here, and then good opening with that projectile. That's going to lead into a couple of hits. It's going to lead into a little bit of damage. Able to get that down as well. Going to get this chase down, but not able to even it up quite yet. Okay. The delaying that recovery back onto the solid ground. Wait Woo! a minute. And this is why they say a shiny has some of the best movement options in the game for reasons like that. Yes, you might be a distance demon, but I can go the distance myself, man. Check the footwork. Nice. Want to go for the throw, though. The immediate burst. I, I ain't going to be none of that. 
has to use it up. Finally going to be taking 11, uh, you know, damage there at that point in time. Just going to be backing off, backing off a little tiny bit. How do you set up this juggle? Going to be finally punishing that block as well. Starlyman X has been getting away with that a neutral quite a bit. That's quite the adaptation. Okay, and that's kind of the issue, I, I think. You know, I'm glad you brought up, like, the adaptation and just how, like, prevalent it is here in this match. Because Green Falcon knows he has one hit left, but you do not want to be, you know what I'm saying, in your whip and chain stance for that. You want to make sure you switch up so you can get as close as possible and try to get it taken. If you try to slow it down while I have the lead, well, hell, that's the game I want to play anyway because I didn't want to approach in the first place. Oh, yeah. Just Down tossing two. out some of those projectiles. Gonna be looking through that opening. What a cross up. Yeah. Right, just getting behind, mixing up your opponent's ankles. Yeah, definitely crossed him up right there on the basketball court. Looking like Rutgers Park right now. Plus, he's gonna slam dunk at home. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, you ain't leaving that corner. They said you, ain't, you on punishment, all right? You ain't oh, leaving yeah. that corner. Okay, nice. Nothing off the nair right here. And as scary as it is, you know, Starman X, of course, oh. wants to stay as far away as possible My. and then close it out in a very strong fashion like that. That coverage with the neutral link, that stock was insane. You were able to cover both platforms simultaneously. This this button was just so, so huge. It was so pivotal to being able to set that up. Look at that. Able to get Ooh. that back hit. Able to follow up with that down strike as well into the, uh, I believe that's the up special, right? The one that sends you up like that. Yep. Into the up. That's such an amazing finish. Yeah, such a strong closeout right there for Starman. So I feel like just kind of sending a message and setting the tone. Letting them know, yes, you might have played a couple more matches. You know, you've been on the stage for a while. You know, you might be warmed up. But trust me, my friend, ain't going to be none of that. I have to kill this momentum. And as we know, a character like a shiny is a very momentum-based character, especially when things get going. But if there's ever a character to kill that momentum, it's definitely Starman X, of course, just closing out that distance, keep you as far away as possible, and really just control the entire pace here in this oh, yeah. match. Okay, standing jab. Clean stuff down to it off the ledge. You already know. That Backs move off, extends. but doesn't make it onto the ledge. All of a sudden, you've given up stage. You almost got put into disadvantage as well. But now, that platform extension, we have seen how much Green Falcon thrives on these tri plat stages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Onto the corner. Uh -uh. You ain't, ain't no hanging out around here, my friend. You can't just hang out. You need to purchase something, all right? Okay, nothing off the throw. Over extension right there. Nice. Ooh. Burns a little meter and for good measure. Now, this, we've seen how dangerous this is. We've seen this most notably with the Levi match. You get, you, you know, get caught in that corner, and I'm standing above you. Ain't nothing nice happening after that. Just barely able to be alive. Now going to be sitting on last hit. How do you actually close this one out? You do not. You get your jump called out. Mm -hmm. Something that I love about this game, you feel each hit. The game pauses for a second. All that hit lag, you feel the animations. You feel that screen shake. You feel the, the sound effects as well. Mm -hmm. It, like, gets you in your oh, core. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and I think that's just also a design choice right there. You know, I was talking to Levi about that just the other night. And it, it's that game intensity. It's kind of like when you play on Ryu State and smash and when you're getting your ass beat mm -hmm. then the music changes a lot of that happens here in rush down so big shout out to them on that you know definitely want to make sure as, as immersive as possible and i'm definitely locked into this match right here oh, take yeah. can certainly be set here for green falcon has closed out that distance and as we know when i'm in this stance right here for arena these hit boxes they don't be hitting and they don't be boxing that at back all away too Ooh. just able to get across oh. the stage just still be able to oh. space out a down tilt this advantage is not stopping anytime soon until a falling up and Finally able to reset it, but not before you're taking so, so many hits. That's right. I like how Green Falcon just kind of closed out that, that momentum. You know, ran up, got super aggressive and said, wait, I don't actually need to overextend for another falling upper to get the party started or even a forwarder at that. Let me just run up, stop, hold shield. You're Ooh. in the corner, and I have the positioning under the platform. So I got you covered. Oh, my God. Off the mark for forwarder. But you ain't going to see that happen twice. There's the burst. Hands off the jacket. Yeah, not going to have another one. That entire stock, though. So now this is as even as we've seen him thus far. He gets another down tilt. Okay. Ooh, just still shit. following up. Still getting all these uh, hits. And okay. Yeah, I'm just going to hold shield right here. Nice, gonna go for the throw, nice. Okay. Uh, but doesn't get the coverage with the down strike as anticipated. Tries to go for the platform coverage. Doesn't find that one either. Both of them just playing around each other and just outspacing that. Mm -hmm. Now, in some of the interactions before, when it comes down to the final hit and they're really looking, they will switch stances into the blade stance and then try to find the opening that way. That time, I think the adaptation is starting to show itself a little bit. Yes, final hit, but depending on where I'm standing in a tri-platform stays, I have enough distance with my normals to cover all points. So sooner Ooh. or later, I'm going to make sure that you make the mistake for me. Clean stuff right here. That whip is whipping. Okay. Up air. Nice. Nothing off the forwarder. That's okay, though, because the down tilt gets the party started. Oh, my gosh. Again, and not able to find the falling forward either. But I've got to say, Starman X is just coming in a little bit over the top when it comes Ooh. to oh, how many oh, hits oh, do you get out oh, of each combo? Oh. How many hits do you get out of each follow-up? <gasps> wow. That coverage. Nuts. 
Yeah, definitely getting like a buy one, get one free on a lot of these exchanges right here. The immediate burst. But you know, though, I wait, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, Did you teleport to the deck? Uh, what happened? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, mega unfortunate. And because of that, Green Falcon has a bit of a lead, but we'll see. Yeah, I, and I like that. I was getting ready to say, if you know, if something like that happens, we need to see the immediate shift. No more trying to space you out. No more controlling the pace of this match. I'm going into Blade Stance. I'm getting it done myself. Oh, but then comes a little bit too much to ah! that up special. Makes it back onto the stage. Good trade for the Starman X. Still has a boost. And we've already seen how much damage he's able to put on, so I'm not counting him out yet. No, absolutely not. As we know, we have seen Starman X turn a a little bit into a lot right here, making that money stretch here, if you will. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, nothing off of those uppers. I like that. You know, again, that oh. recovery tool is such a good combo extender. Pops the burst so immediately. Has little to no choice. Five HP left. This ain't looking good. Switches back over to the whip stance. And this is good. It's a good way to just keep him at bay. Being so patient and shield, able to fight his way out of shield as well. Oh, shit. Didn't rush that entire situation. I would love to see a replay on that stock. I just, like, have no idea what happened. Mm. He just teleported to the blast zone. Wow. Mega unfortunate indeed here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here at how that unfolded. Okay. Nice. Trying to shark from up underneath. Clean stuff, of course. That's how you should be pressuring. He said, I'm out of here. Three, two, uh, damn. one. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I would have expected a teleport off stage, but that was just out to the blast zone. Like, that was like one of those player has disconnected and then like everybody explodes type stuff. But yeah. regardless, we got ourselves two games apiece. Didn't want to see a 3 0 here in Grand. Yeah, no, not at all. And neither this Green Falcon, apparently. Look at this lead. Look at this tech chasing, especially with that down throw. It seems like Starman X is now slowly, uh, slowing down a little bit. Yeah, starting to figure some stuff out here a little bit. And I like that. This is all about the adaptation here. You know, again, the gameplay at hand is a very simple gameplay. I got to keep you at bay. I'm going to use down tilt. I'm going to space out back here. There's no way you're going to let you in close. And I'm going to keep you at bay as much as possible and close it out. That this time, Green Falcon is like, I figured out a way to close out that distance. What do you got now? Yeah, such good Ooh, recognition shoot. too, getting past the side strike. Should I just slightly outside of it, able to whip punish that second one? Uh oh. Okay, wait a minute. Don't don't do too much. Not needing to pop the burst. Okay, burns a little bit of that blink meter. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay, yeah, there's the burst. Doesn't seem to matter though. Drags them back down. Yeah, right now just Stuntman X is just has to deal with this Green Falcon that's always up in his face. He's able to get that spike conversion. He's able to keep his head into the game, but he has a lot of damage to make up now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the task at hand has become a little bit more, uh, a little bit more daunting, if you will. But if I know anything about Starman X, they know how to mount a victory, and that's so smart right there from Green Falcon, just holding chill and then just walking closely. Because as you know, the hitboxes on the, the chain are at the end. You don't get anything up close and personal. Those hitboxes are very wonky. So unless you're in the blade stance, ooh, 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 you want to keep them as far away as possible. That chase down is insane. It goes all the way out there. Looking for that spike as well. And just like that, it is now the Starman X who is in the lead, setting up the same offstage situation. What is going to happen here? What is going to be the play? How do you actually close this out? Okay, pops the burst. Yeah, he knew the projectile was on the ready. He said he knew it was coming. Okay, and see, this is exactly what he's looking for, but I don't know if you want to play up close in this stance. Now, when they're in this stance here, I'd like to lean a little bit more yeah. to the movement options, let them swing first, and then you punish. When they have the, the chain out, then oh. you get up close because those hitboxes do not connect as easily. Those custom combos are going nuts right now. Well, that's facts, yo. Oh, okay, wait. Wow, what a follow-up, too. Able to catch that. But was that a dodge past it? Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Was able to burn a little bit of that blink meter. Was able to snap their way back in. And no burst right there. Do not seem to matter. Reyna right now struggling a little bit here. Wait a minute. You better get back onto this stage. Don't play with me because these boots be booting out here. Yeah, Green Falcon is looking for that early stock. Green Falcon is smelling See, it. So, oh, you know what, Starman X? I like, you know what? I'm not messing off stage. I'm just getting back on ASAP. I'm just getting back on. And honestly, I don't blame him because I just love the fact that they've slowed this down. Usually, we see the movement options come out here for a shiny, but this time, again, slowing it down. You want to play the slow game? I'm with that. Getting up close, holding chill, walking closely when they have the whip out. I cannot stress enough. That is such a smart option, and it just goes to show how fearless Green Falcon is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gonna be, eating a gonna be eating a set. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a, what? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Okay. Th I things, expect things it. are happening again. Okay. Second lease on life here for the Starman X. But I ain't trying to count out the Green Falcon just yet. Immediate burst. Blade stance on deck. 
Oh, oh. and what a follow-up. Oh. You mentioned that before, that Ashani movement, that Ashani boost. She is able to jump in like nobody else. And wow, that was quite the jump. And able to take a whole stock off of it, too. Now just backing off a little bit, able to get in there with that down strike. Good side strike follow-ups as well, looking for that uh, down angle projectile. Yeah, and that's kind of the thing about this matchup. It's not enough to just control the distance. Like, I think when you see a character like this, it's like, oh, well, you have an ant here. You know, your design, you are the ant here. Like, no, no, no. I'm trying to make it to where they don't even want to jump. That's oh, the yeah. point. That's the point of this matchup. I've conditioned you so well that it's no longer you're even in your head to jump. And if you jump, you second guessed it. I called out the option, and now you're in some trouble. Great parry right there. Blade stance on the ready right now, getting them hands dirty. 28 HP left. That's oh walking gosh. up slowly and shielding ain't going to help you now. Yeah, especially at the hands of a grab. Not going to be able to do all that much for you. Able to get that projectile hit, up strike, side strike through all of this coverage. Mm. And it seems like that suffocation is coming into play. But that outspacing, just barely getting above the falling floor. Oh, floating. wait a minute. So I can't breathe. There's the burst right here. Go ahead and go ahead and alleviate a little bit of that pressure. And this is <gasps> so smart. That was so good right there from Green Falcon. Not allowing him any sort of way to break away distance. He was like, okay, cool. The shiny's coming. Let me back up. Let me get into this corner. Let's get our feet back onto solid ground. And let me try to control the grounded game. Green Frog said, ain't going to be none of that, my friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. He avoided that? Yeah, look at this. Ah, that was clean. How did he avoid that, that like, incoming, like, falling back? And that was he just got under and he was like, oh, damn, are you with me, Yeah, he said, say That's less. Tough. Say less. We out. So uh, all of a sudden, it's two games to one against other men X, maybe on the village of a black and he said, hey, this could be huge. I would like to see it in my Monique voice. I would like to see it, and I'm sure Green Falcon would as well. Now, the same can't be said for Star Man X. They are not looking for the reset. In fact, one could possibly say that they are looking to close this one out in the game yep. five finish because they ain't got no choice. So we'll see how it all goes right now. Star Man X playing with some good energy right now, just kind of cracked out of his mind. 93 HP, but has kind of pinned the movement options here from Green Falcon down. Okay, right now just trying to be able to get some of these juggles going. Doesn't get that falling for you as he was initially looking for you, but just crossing Ooh. up Starry Man Ooh. X. I'm on your left side. I'm on your right side. You have no idea where I'm going to be attacking from next. Okay. Got to keep it as ambiguous as possible. I like that you brought it up. Ain't nothing ambiguous about these forwarders, though. You know they're coming. It's just a matter of when and can you stop it. Burst right there, busting up the party. Back it up, player. Keeping this one airtight. Of course, not a lot of HP on the board right here. Doesn't seem to matter. Getting it done in the blade stand. Starman X said, look, I got to force this to a game five, my friend. I hope you understand. I hope you do. I've got to say, some of these, like, jump leaders from, like, Ashani feel like Harley Quinn neutral, right? Yeah, but she just, yeah. like, jumps after you off stage, swinging her massive hammer. It's just like, oh, wow. Yep. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. But uh, the question is, can you even avoid it? You can't. Sometimes it just feel like, you know, tenacity just only prolongs the inevitable sometimes. Like, yes, you know, you can try to avoid it as much as you want, but sooner yeah. or later, I'm going I'm to find that X marks the spot of Shiny. Green Falcon doesn't find X marks the spot, too. Of course, it came at the cost of a lot of HP. A little late to the party, but as you know, this is where Green Falcon's at their most dangerous. No platforms to save you. Yeah, on a flat stage, that kind of tech chasing as well, just able to jump yeah. to be able to cover so many preemptive matched options out of disadvantage. Ah. Able to get these juggles. Not going to be able to find that foil, though. Committed a little bit too much and now going to be stuck off stage. How do you make it back onto the ledge? You have to make it past all these buttons. What an amazing block, but crossed up safely. That's right, crossed up safely. Of course, using the blink right there and then using the burst. Great way right there from Star Max to just wait out the option, break away, let you spend it first, and then I'm going to close it out. Okay, clean. Popped immediate burst. He already knew. He's like, look, I seen the way that last game wrapped up. I can't let that happen twice. Slightly misspacing that side strike is going to give Green Falcon this opening. Backs off a little bit, fades back to be able to cover that high recovery. Going to be looking for a way to scout out this landing. Went to the right. Green Falcon ah! drifted uh, the wrong direction. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, nice. And I like that. No, yes, there are no platforms, but I also have to get super up on the ledge to get it done right there. And he said, look, you should have stayed that ass on the ledge because I got you, man. Don't ever go high. The anterior option is always on deck right here for Green Falcon. Okay, oh. has, crowd, has a lot of uh, HP here to make up. I love, like, these ground pound combos, too. I'm just, like, able to land with that down. I'm able to land with, like, that down special. And now I'm going to be setting up another offstage situation. Not able to space out that down tilt. Tries to roll back on. But uh, that's going to actually oh. lead into the opening. Yes, that opening indeed. Now, we talk about a lot with down tilt at the ledge right here for Green Falcon. 
but it's very scary, especially in something like the grounded senses too. Once I get up close and personal and you swing, those hitboxes in this stance for Reyna don't do too much. So I got down to right here to check and to get the party started, but wait, don't hold shield forever. This is this is still a fighting game. We still got rock, paper, scissors, homie. Yeah, looking for that spike yet again, backing off a little bit, and then doesn't actually back off enough. You have to respect how far Ashani goes. You have to respect all of who boost range going out there with that spike too. Not gonna be on last hit. That's gonna be that stock. And now you down one whole stock and Solomon X still has his boost. That's right. Burst is on already. Swap meter online right now. Green Falcon, unfortunately enough, no meter really to work. It has to get in and get them hands dirty. And doing just that. Nice. Gets the super jump. Doesn't get anything off of it though. Okay, nice. There's a down air. And again, the blade stance has proven to be a bit of a thorn right here in Green Falcon's oh, yeah. side. You know, of course, when the whip is out, it's like, okay, cool. You got the whip. That's dope. But I got to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? When that blade is out, he kind of plays the Green Falcon game a little bit better than he does. Yeah, his CQC game is fantastic. He's able to get so many follow-ups. He's able to get so many extensions. Okay, able to get that jump call out. That jump call out is so huge. Look at the mileage. Oh, Look at how much you get. And now, Green Falcon has Bye. no more boost left. Nothing. Nothing left, and unfortunately, kind of running out of time right here. No burst and no meter right there to blink to even stall it out. That's going to go ahead and do it. Starman X looking at the camera, and that's right. He said, this, one, this, this, one's, one for more. The, this one's for the rushdown, guys. He's pointing up. Yeah, one more. He has one more game to win before he's able to take grand finals for himself. Green Falcon just needs one more to be able to get that bracket reset. Has to win a whole nother set as well. I've got to say, I just feel like a lot of his CQC gameplay was cleaned up, especially on that blade stance. Like you mentioned, he plays that game so much better. He's able to get those chase downs. He's able to run after him. Yeah, I mean, again, just the, the footwork when I'm in the blade stance is such a night and day difference. And I think that's the tough part for most season competitors to have to deal with. It's like, okay, I've been conditioned to deal with Reyna Ooh. this type of way for so long. And then it's like, boom, a blade stance. Now she's in my face. That was okay. so clean. Just all of those hits coming in uh -oh. over and over, dealing so much damage. Tries to get something started again. Now you got to watch how you swing on a stage like this if you're Reyna, because now I have the platforms right here to mix it up a little bit. But that same turn of breath, I got the platforms right here to kind of give you that false sense of security. You think you want to land on that top platform? Be my guest. I got up here. I even some of my grounded just like up to options can get it, can catch you and get it done. So, okay, chiseling away here slowly but surely. Okay, just going to be looking for this next opening. Yo, that spacing, immaculate. Closing out that boost, goes out there through the spike. Just able to get past it, staying nice and safe, Forward staying alive. Air. Okay. Doesn't get that up special. Okay, looking for the up B as well. Excuse me, up air, off the mark. Doesn't go for a grab, a rare grab opportunity, and even rarer miss. Okay, woo, shoot. That whip is whipping right now, man. X marks the spot right now. Green Falcon, yep. unfortunately, out of options. Looks like they burnt the burst earlier, and of course, no meter right there for the Blink to mix it up. Of course, Blink's gonna push her back towards the stage, and of course, you get the wall hop right into the ledge grab. Doesn't get anything off it, though. Oh, get out of that corner, though. Okay, makes it back on over the stage here. Able to come back in with that neutral. You saw that wait, just trying to wait out a dodge, but a little bit too slow on that, that punish nonetheless. Able to get that down strike. Doesn't get that second one that he was looking for. Yeah, it's going to have to maybe try to rinse and repeat the situation. It's going to be a big ask, but unfortunately, that's kind of like the card you've been wow. dealt here. As you can see right now, he's immediate on the parry. And I like this from Green Falcon. He understands. Okay, cool. Oh, nice burst. It burst as you may, man. These down airs just burst and send you down into that blast zone. Clean a gameplay right here. A bit of a lead, but we'll see how long they can hold on to it. As you can, as you've seen in some of these previous games, once Green Falcon breaks that zone, that's when things get a little scary for the other side. Oh, my oh gosh. Ah. Look at these juggles. Look at his damage output. It is phenomenal. Already going to be at 20 damage. Has to use that option. Has to use that tool. Yeah. Okay, now occupying center stage. Going to be catching Reyna. Jumping mm. on in. They're a little bit too aggressive. A little bit too bold. Tries to go through the Hail Mary spike and committed too much to it. And it almost feels like Green Falcon's waiting for the blade stance. He's like, okay, cool. You want to you wanna get up close and personal? We can definitely do that. Also keep in mind, too, in the blade stance, the weight changes. So a little easier to juggle her. Um, as opposed to, you know what I'm saying, the whip stance. Yeah. Doesn't seem to matter, though. Ain't a juggler in the world strong enough to save you from that in the corner. Clean stuff here from the Starman X. Uh-oh. Okay, just going to be looking through this next opening queue. Oh, my gosh. Look at these cross-ups, especially with that blade. You mentioned it before. Just playing Green Falcon's game, but just coming out on top. Just a little bit tiny more. Yeah, Green Falcon right now really struggling. Burns a little bit of that meter. And that's really smart. Got to keep the manageability of your tools on deck. I think that was something they really struggled oh. with in some of those earlier games. I'm out of meter. I'm out of burst. Can't get back to the ledge. What am I to do? 
And then it just doesn't help that Star Man can stay so far away from the ledge, but still apply the same amount of press that Ashani would if back into the corner. Doesn't matter though, back air shuts it down. Two Stop stocks getting apiece. mixed up a lot of his movement. He slowed down the piece of the game. Ooh. He was just dancing on those platforms a little tiny bit. Trying to space out some of these side strikes, trying to find a falling up strike, uh, falling up, excuse me. Not able to get at this point in time. Whips that grab. That's going to be a bit of an opening, but nothing substantial. Nope, absolutely not. Okay, now what's it going to be? Nice, goes for the one two jab. Can't quite find the opening. And again, just kind of walking up and holding shield. Look, he says, if you want to slow the game down, I'm actually kind of with that myself. Now, my only worry is that walking up and holding shield works when your center stays. You get caught in that corner. We've seen how bad that has been for Green yeah. Falcon. Nice. Doesn't have to burn anything to get back on. How many grabs, how many down throws have resulted out of situations like oh. that? Gonna be knocked all the way off stage now. Has to use up that boost. Was that boost spent and then the air, uh, and then the blade toss connected? I believe so. It looks like they burnt it first, then waited it out, and then shut it down. Clean patience right there from Starman X. It all comes down to this Green oh. Falcon, unfortunately, on tournament stock here, tournament life. Oh, great parry. And see, yes, this is where this is where Green Falcon gets a little a little dangerous here. Kind of making you second guess before you decide to go in. Okay, has the burst. Gonna, okay, yes, gonna go for the blink. But you've used it all up. It's now well, nothing. You have to find a way to get this opening. Ooh. Gets that back to go. Gets that immediate spike. Ooh. Not the biggest hug of the spike. Not, doesn't do too much, uh, like, knockback. Yes. Not, not the biggest spike in the world, but message is definitely sent. You know, regardless if I'm in the lead or if I'm in the deficit, I have to keep applying that same sort of presence right there in the corner. Green Falcon, of course, living up to that very well now. Starman X right now looking really good. Blade stamp on the ready. Nice pops to burst. He said, look, I'm get, we're getting our hands dirty, but when I meant we, I really just meant me, my friend. Back up. Yo, this movement. You can tell that Starman X is feeling himself. He's tossing out these blades. He's teleporting left and right, oh. able to get that throw, but doesn't get that big follow-up. Last hit on the ready, and that's going to be the closeout, the immediate pop-off right there from Starman X as your Defend the North 2022 champion has been crowned. Clean stuff. Dave, you felt that. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah, that was, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Get it out of your system and come back up here and hug me. Okay. You can't leave somebody hanging. You can't leave somebody hanging after the fist bump. You always have to pop off and then make sure you fist bump. Them. That's facts, yo. Number wow. one mistake, fist bump them while popping off. You can dislocate the wrist. We have seen that happen time and time again. Big shout out to Devin on the replay. He said, okay. He said, all right. There, there's the there's the post pop off clarity. So I was, I was tripping. All right, come here. Bring it in. Clean gameplay right there. Yes, it's all love. Love that here from both of these two competitors. Of course, they put on a phenomenal performance right here for not only Dara and myself, but of course for all you beautiful faces out there in the chat. Defending North 2022. What more can I say that hasn't already been said? But you know what, though? I'm going to say it again. Support your locals, my friend. If you haven't been here before, this is my first Defending North. And I got to say, beyond a shot of a doubt, I will be back next year for all three days. This was a beautiful thing to witness and to be yep. a part of. Yeah, it's been an honor being here. I'm going to be back on today a little bit more with some smash action. Um, it's been a pleasure being able to cast with you for this game. It's been a pleasure being able to cast some Rushdown Revolt. I hope to be involved with the community more. This game is exciting. This game is high octane. Uh, and it's got some of the coolest character kits that I have seen in a minute. It's so creative. Just enables so much movement. And with that being said, we are a little bit behind on schedule. We got to jump into some Smash action expeditiously. So I'm not going to keep them waiting that much longer. Everybody, thank you so much for watching Rushdown Revolt Top 4. Congratulations to the Starman X for being able to take it all. And shout outs to the Rushdown team for, you know, having me on here. Thank you to Evil. Thank you to Keiko Valak as well. Um, you guys are incredible. You guys are fantastic. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, if you guys haven't done so already, you should follow my lovely, incredible co-caster, God. Yeah, follow us both. You know, we do great work in the community, not just Smash, but all the platform fighter communities right here. And, of course, what better, you know, community to get involved with than mm -hmm. Rush Down. They are building an empire, and it's just good to be a part of it at a ground level. So with that in mind, friends, keep it locked right here. We're going to pay some bills. When we come back, we got some Smash action coming your way right after this. Craig? Craig, you still with me? Yes. Great. What's the equation of the slope?